Hey, what's up you guys makeups out here welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone for a minute but i am back with another video and in this video as you can obviously tell i'm doing a install of my 360 lace frontal wig and i just started off by doing the glamazante wig cap method and this time i used a stocking cap instead of a wig cap and that's why you see that big hole on the top of my head so don't pay attention to that i just cut off the stocking cap and i just used some blasting free spray to keep that wig cap or keep that stocking cap down now i'm cutting off the lace from the back of my wig and then i just left the front of the lace on so that way i could obviously put the wig on and get it how I want to lay in the front when I was doing this method I was having a little bit of trouble getting the left side to lay down I kept trying to spray it with hairspray and lay down but it just would not stay um, I didn't let that side fully dry before I cut it so that's why I was having trouble with it and as you can see that side still looks a little weird but I was able to fix it and you couldn't tell under the wig. Now I'm using the dark brown color from the Juvia's Place blush palette. I believe it's the Shaharan blush palette volume 1 and I put that on the lace of the wig because I didn't bleach my knots that long so I was just using that to tint my lace and then I used the white got to be glue that was the only glue that I could find at the time and I just used what I had but I really did not want to use the white glue so anybody that's watching this please don't come for me in the comments down below I know the white glue kind of sucks but I had to do what I had to do so now I am applying my wig and I'm using a razor to cut off some lace I'm not cutting off all of it right now because I want enough lace to apply the wig and now I am applying some more got to be glued to lay down the lace because it dried before I was able to actually lay it down so that's what I'm doing right now and again I do not suggest using the white glue because it does kind of leave a white cast if you touch it and also it doesn't have as strong as a hold as the black gel does From here, I'm basically just repeating the same steps as I was before. So I'm going to let you guys watch and listen to the music. And I will come back later if I need to explain anything else. Now I'm using rubbing alcohol to get off any extra glue that I don't want to be on my forehead. I definitely say that is an important step to get any extra residue off so you're not looking crazy out here and your baby hairs won't be sticking to that gel left on your forehead. So tip. Also when you're cutting around your ear make a part 
and then cut around your ear where you put the part so make the part cut part until your ears are cut out and i'd also say use a razor especially if you are beginning to do lace frontals because it will make your life so much easier with blending it in and making it look like it's a scalp now i'm just repeating the same steps as i did on the other side as far as cutting out my ears and gelling it down as i said before the sides were hard to gel down i'm not really sure why that is the back was a little bit easier but the sides for some reason they just they wanted to fight okay they wanted to square up So now I'm starting the process of gelling the back of my 360 lace wig and I did have to cut off the adjustable straps because it wasn't working for me. I guess I had a smaller head than I anticipated but I had to cut that off and basically just construct my own nape, construct my own hairline in the back and when I did this um i try to be as precise as possible without actually seeing what i'm doing at this point i didn't have a mirror except the mirror that was behind me which wasn't doing me any good at the moment so not too long after i start trying to lay down the lace in the back i actually go into my bathroom and do like a two mirror method kind of thing and try and get the lace to stay that way and make sure that it looks somewhat okay because I wasn't planning on putting this up too much and now I am taking some rubbing alcohol and rubbing off any excess glue that might be there and anything that's not laying down the way I want it to lay down I am using that rubbing alcohol to get off any glue that I don't want to be there so I can reapply the gel and get it to lay again. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I am using the blow dryer on the cool setting and it is set to high. I don't always use heat when I'm laying down my frontals sometimes i do it just depends on if i'm in the mood to switch between those settings but i'm in the bathroom now doing the two mirror method and i'm using this scarf to tie down the back and the front just to make sure everything is laying down and it is secure okay so this is about the point where I regret making this decision because I do not like the way this turned out after washing it. I didn't mind it when it was done like that, fresh, but after washing and conditioning it, it did not look the same. Now I'm just sectioning off a little bit of hair so I can do my baby hairs. And this time I decided to use Edge Booster Edge Control to mold my edges and then use got to be glue to keep them in place and while I was doing my edges I also decided to pluck a little bit more so the hairline could look a little bit more natural after I used the edge booster I did use some mousse to make it a little bit easier to move around because the style factor edge control was very thick and it didn't give me enough slip to actually mold my edges all right you guys that is basically it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and you got a few extra tips subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet comment down below and i will catch you in my next one bye